Welcome to BVM Global at CBE. Hello everyone, myself Ajitesh Menon of class 11th from BVM Global at Coimbatore. On project day, we the students of class 11th are hereby presenting the projects and presentation on the following topics. History, Geography, Sociology, COVID-19 Situations and Economy. So. Welcome to the Seven Sister States. Good day to everyone. I'm Rishta of Class 11B, here to give a brief account of what our class did this project day. The topic given to us was the Northeastern States. We began by dividing ourselves into groups, each group focusing on the different aspects for every state. The group focused on the political, economic, sociological and historical aspects of the state. The political aspect we analyze the number of districts in a state and then going into detail about the ruling party, opposition party, voter turnout, the parliament and so on. In the economic sphere, the two main features are agriculture and tourism. These two being the common connections, the group further explains in detail about the economy of each state. In the sociological aspect, we focused on the various tribes of the state while also emphasizing their diverse culture and ethnic events. The historical aspect mainly focused on the formation of the states, the impact of World War II on them and the Sino-Indian War. We then go into detail about the individual history of the states. Each group has showcased their information in the form of a presentation accompanied by explanation. Finally, for our centre model, we decided on a panel discussion. Along with the two guest speakers, five of our classmates discussed the current scenario of the eight states. We had quite an enlightening talk on the current COVID-19 pandemic situation and the state's economy, the lives of the common people and the local tribes and how it, the COVID-19 pandemic has affected them is also part of it. All in all, the experience we had during this virtual project day was quite a unique one. Thank you. Greetings to all my teachers, parents and my dear friends. We people will be talking about the history of the seven states of India. Now, I am going to explain about the history of seven states of India and the formation of seven states of India. History of the seven states of India The earliest settlers from where mainland Southeast Asia who settled in the different parts of the Northeast. They belong to the Astrotic language speaking community. Post that Tibeto and Burmese people from China settled in the region. During the 500 BC, Indo-Aryans from the Gangetic Plains arrived in the region. Kamapura also known as Prakachotishtya Kamapura is an earlier state which was the first historical kingdom of Azam. Kamapura stratulated most of the present day Northeast India in the earlier historical period. The historical kingdom disappeared by the 12th century and got replaced by the smaller political entities. Formation of Northeast States In the early 19th century, the Harmon and the Manipur kingdoms ruling over the Northeast were taken over the Burmese inversions. There were three uh, Burmese inversions of the Azam between 1817 and 1826, during which the Harmon and the Manipur kingdom came under the control of Burma. During the region, British region, Northeast India became a part of Bengal provisions. In the early 20th century, the Northeast states were established and become isolated from their traditional trading partners like Bhutan and Minar. Post-independence, the North 
eastern region consists of only Assam and the princely states of Manipur and Tripura. Nagaland, Meghalaya, Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram were part of the largest territory of the Assam. They subjectively got separated and formed their own state. The states of Tripura and Manipur were union territories till 1972 till they attained statehood. Prior 2002, Sikkim was not a part of the Northeast. Now, Karan will continue. World War II, World War II, also known as the Second World War, conflict that evolved virtually every part of the world during the years 1939 to 1945. The war was fought between the Axis and the Allied powers. The war was in main, many respects a continuation after an uneasy of 20 years of war of the dispute left unsettled by the World War II. About 4 to 5 crores deaths incurred in the World War II make it the bloodiest conflict as well as the largest war in history. Sino-Indian War The Sino-Indian War, also known as the Indochina War, war between India and China that occurred in 1962. A Chinese disputed Himalayan border was the main cause of the war. There had been a series of violent border between the two countries after the 1959 Tibet Tibetan uprising when India granted to the Dalai Lama. India initiated defensive forward policy from 1960 to hinder Chinese military patrols and logistics in which it placed outposts along the border, including several of the North McMahon Line, the western portion of the line of actual control proclaimed by the Chinese military. The Seven Sister States The Seven Sister States uh, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tirpura prior to inclusion of the states of state of Sikkim into the northeastern region of India. Land of the Seven Sisters was coined to coincide with the inauguration of the new states in January 1972 by Jyoti Prasad, a journalist in Tirpura. History of Arunachal Pradesh In 1912 to 1930, the British Indian government made agreement with the indigenous people of the Himalayas of the northeastern India to set up the Balipara frontier track in the west, the Sandhya frontier track in the east, the harbour and the Musahivi hills and the Triprap frontier track in the south. Those together tracks become the Northeastern Frontier Agency which is now the Arunachal Pradesh. The boundary takes its name from Sir Henry M. C. Mehan, Secretary in the Indian Foreign Department and a representative of Great Britain, Britain at the conference held in the 1912-1913 in Simla in the state of Himachal Pradesh to settle frontier and the other matters relating to Tibet to the British the line marked the geographic entity and administrative boundary between the two regions and delegates from Great Britain, China and Tibet agreed that the frontier between Tibet and Northeastern India indeed should follow the chest of the high Himalayas. Two days later, however, the Chinese uh, government uh, disowned its uh, delegate and refused to sign a convention. Next. Next, Vijay will continue his topic. History of Mehalaya The capital of Mehalaya is Shillong. During the British rule of India, the British imperial authorities nicknamed it as Scotland of the East. Mehalia was previously part of Assam, but on 21st January 1972, the district of Kazi Garu and Jaintia Hills became the new state of Mehalia. English is the official language of Mehalia and some local languages like Bengali. Unlike many Indian states, Mehalia has historically followed by a matrilineal system where the lineage and inheritance are traced through women 
the youngest daughter inherits all wealth and she also takes care of her parents history of manipur manipur becomes a princely state under british rule in 1891 the last of the independent states to be incorporated into british india During the Second World War, Manipur was the scene of battles between Japanese and Allied forces. The Japanese were beaten back before the Allies could enter Imphal. This proved to be one of the turning point of the war. Legislative Assembly was dissolved and Manipur became part of the Republic of India in October 1949. It was made a union territory in 1956 and a full-fledged state in 1972. Mayrambam Koreng Singh became the first chief minister in 1972 of the state of Manipur. State of Manipur. History of Tripura. The last ruler of the princely state of Tripura was Kirit Bikram Kishore Manikya Bahadur de Burma. who reigned from 1947 to 1949 agartala after whom the kingdom was merged with india on 9th september 1949 and the administration was taken over on 15th october 1949 tripura became a union territory on 1st july 1963 and attained the status of a full fledged state on 21st january 1972 thank you now sanjay will continue history of mizoram after the indian independence from british empire in 1947 the land became luzai hills district under the government of assam like several other northeastern states of india luzai hills was previously part of assam until 1972 then it became the 23rd state of india and named as mizoram On 1986, Mizoram joined the Seven Sisters. History of Nagaland. The state Nagaland has experienced insurgency as well as inter-ethnic conflict since 1950s. Then Nagaland became the 16th state of India on December 1. 1963 Nagaland joined Seven Sisters by Jyoti Prasad a journalist in Tripura in a radio talk show on January 1972 History of Assam Assam was part of Kamarupa which was ruled by four dynasties the Pala the Kutch the Kachori and the Chutia and there was constant warfare among them Uh, until the coming of ahom people in the 13th century the ahom people crossed the padkai region from myanmar and conquered the upper local chief from the assam plains in the 15th century the ahoms gave their names uh, to the region with the dominant power in the upper assam conflicts among the prince gradually weakened the central administration until in 1786 when the ruling prince gaurinan singh sought aid from calcutta which was a british stronghold and uh, thus uh, britain conquering uh, assam During World War II, Assam was a major supply route for Allied forces operating in Burma. Several battles fought in the area in 1944 were decisive in halting the Japanese advance into India. With the partition and independence of uh, India in 1947, the district of Sylhet was ceded to Pakistan. Assam became a pa- uh, constituent state of India in 1950. In 1961 and 1962, Chinese armed forces disputing McMahon line Uh, occupied a part of tibet thus uh, occupying a part of assam history of sikkim the first known people to occupy sikkim were lepcha their cultural traits were similar to uh, meghalayas earliest historical record mentions the passage way of buddhist saint batma sababa through the sikkim in the 8th century ad guru batma sababa also known as guru rinpoche introduced buddhism and predicted that a century later the era of monarchy will arrive Between 1717 and 1733 the kingdom of Sikkim was faced with many raids by the Nepalese in the west and Bhutanese in the east uh, to support Sikkim and defend Tibet against uh, Gorkha kingdom of present day Nepal China sent troops to support uh, Sikkim with the subsequent defeat over Gorkha it was uh, Chinese Qing dynasty who established control over Sikkim 
prayer to Indian independence, Jawaharlal Nehru, as the Vice President of the Executive Council, pushed through a resolution that Sikkim and Bhutan will not be a part of Indian constituency and are to be uh, negotiated separately. Meanwhile, Indian independence and its move spurred a fledging political movement in Sikkim, giving rise to the formation of Sikkim State Congress. This party has sent a plate of demand to the palace, including demand for accession to India. In 1950, a treaty was agreed between India and Sikkim, which gave the Sikkim a site of the procurator. Sikkim came under the suzerain of India in 1975. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Ajitesh Benin and today I am here to talk about the economy of the seven sister states. So, let's begin. Economy of Arunachal Pradesh However, as of March 2020, Arunachal Pradesh has a total installed power generation capacity of 378.64 MW, comprising 158.05 MW from hydro, 136.72 MW from renewable energy sources and 83.87 MW from thermal, agriculture and forest based industry. State is the largest producer of kiwis in India and the second largest producer of large cardinal. State also has various inland fisheries resources. Tourism During 2018, foreign tourist arrivals in the state reached around 7,653, while domestic tourist visits stood at 5,12,436. State won the Best Emerging Tourist Destination in India Award for 2019 and also the Best Emerging Green Destination of 2019. Economy of Assam Tea During 2019-20, production of tea in the state stood at 694.53 million kilograms. Tea is the major crop that drives Assam's economic growth accounts for nearly 15% of the world's production of tea and around 50% of India's production of tea. 630 million kilograms of tea was exported from Assam. The economy of Assam is the largest contributor in the Indian economy among the seven sister states. Agriculture and Allies An agrarian economy since time immemorial. Agriculture is a major contributor to the state's economy. It also provides livelihood to a significant proportion of the population of the state. The agroclimatic conditions support cultivation of a wide range of horticultural crops, including plantation crops and various fruits and vegetables, flowers, spices, medicinals and aromatic plants, nut crops and tuber crops, pineapple, banana, cauliflower, broccoli, rose, rice, papaya, sugarcane, turmeric, jute, potato and bougainvillea are among high yielding varieties of horticulture crops in Assam. Economy of Meghalaya Turmeric produced in Meghalaya is considered to be one of the best in the world as it contains 7.5% of curcumin. State has a tremendous potential for tourism. Number of tourists visiting Meghalaya increased from 839,363 in 2016 to 1,216,454 in 2018. Limestone production in Meghalaya stood at 7.19 million tons in fiscal year 2019. Economy of Nagaland Nagaland promotes bamboo processing as an enterprise covering various applications such as food paste, medicinal usage, handicraft, art, tiles, and flooring. Nagaland Bamboo Development Agency is a notar office that coordinates with other offices for all bamboo related research, development, and business applications. Nagaland has a rich wealth of flora and fauna. Favorable climatic and geographical conditions in the state offer tremendous scope for floriculture. Economy of Manipur 
In 2018-19, the total production of horticulture crops in the state stood at 835.82 thousand tons, an area under production was 104.79 thousand hectares. In 2018-19, total production of vegetables and fruits in the state was estimated at 0.0. 354 million tons and 0.451 million tons respectively. Manipur is the first state in India to have set up the four crore infrastructure of the National E-Governance Plan, Common Service Center, Statewide Area Network, State Data Center and State Portal and State Service Delivery Gateway and E-Forms. Dorsal production in Manipur stood at 464 metric tons during 2018-19 and 401 metric tons during 2019-20. Of Mizoram, natural resources, climatic conditions and policy incentives in the state support investment in bamboo, sericulture, tourism, agro products and agro processing sectors. In 2019, to promote brotherhood among Mizors across the globe State government allocated rupees 1 crore to organize unity festivals. In June 2017, the government of Mizoram introduced Mizoram Eco Tourism Policy to promote understanding of heritage, values, nature, and wildlife conservation, keeping biodiversity, ecosystem functioning, and socio economic development on priority. Economy of Agroclimatic conditions in the state are favorable for growing various fruits and horticultural crops. Tripura's pineapples and oranges are known for their unique flavor and organic nature. As per the third advanced estimate of 2018-19, total fruit production in the state reached 555.473 thousand metric tons. Total vegetable production reached 813. 378,000 metric tons. Total plantation production reached 29.458,000 metric tons. And total spices production reached 30.22,000 metric tons. Tripura has passed natural gas reserves. The gas is available in a non associate form with high methane content of about 97%. On of Sikkim, as per budget 2018-19, Allocation of Rs. 484.52 crores was made for the development of the agriculture and allied services sector. The Kim will become self-sufficient in terms of food grain production within next five years. Kim's geographical and environmental conditions are conducive for development of floriculture at a higher altitude. The state is also considered to be the kingdom of flowers and is an innovator in cultivating gladiolus. Tourism in Sikkim has emerged as a new profession of the Sikkimese people with its vast natural potential. Promotion of village tourism, homestay, cultural tourism, trekking tourism, eco-tourism, wellness tourism, flora tourism and adventure tourism has given Philip to the tourism trade in the state. Where a large number of people are engaged under different employment opportunities. Good morning everyone and now you will be seeing the geographical part of the seven sisterly states. The seven sisterly states are Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. Recently, Sikkim is named as the brotherly state of the Seven Sisters. It is the 24th state of Indian Union. It is often called as Dawn Lake Sun and its capital is Tutanagar. It is the largest of seven states with 83,720 square kilometer. It has an international border of 1,600 km with China, Myanmar, and Bhutan. Its population is 13.84 lakh. It has 25 districts. 
The state is also known as the Orchid State of India because of the abundance of beautiful and rare orchid species. The state bird of Arunachal Pradesh is Hornbill. The state animal is Gael. The state flower in scientific name is Rhynchostylis retusa. Tourist places in Arunachal Pradesh Nuraran Falls. It is famous for trekking and sightseeing. There is a hydel station in Nuraran Falls. Itanagar Sightseeing Forts. This city is home to medieval Ita Fort and the Jawaharlal Nehru State Museum which exhibits textiles and handicrafts. Gorjan Peak is known for camping, trekking and sightseeing. Climate in Arunachal Pradesh During summer, it reaches up to 40 degrees Celsius. In winter, it ranges from 15 degrees Celsius to 21 degrees Celsius while monsoon remains between 22 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. Mountain surrounding Arnachal Pradesh is Kangto, which is 23,261 feet and it is shared with China. National parks found in Arnachal Pradesh are Namdapa, Maoling and Nitanag. Next, we will be seeing about Assam. Assam is also known as Kamarpura. It has the world's biggest weaving village, Salkuchi. It is famous for producing high quality Mekla Chadir and Gamosas. These are the traditional Assamese dresses. The capital is Dispur. The area is 78,438 square kilometers. The population of Assam is 3.12 crores. It has 33 districts. We all know that Assam is mainly famous for the tea. It has been exported to many countries all around the world. Gauhati A city in Assam has all important institutes and amenities. It is known for the holy sites like Ma Kamyaka Temple. The state bird of Assam is white winged duck. The state animal is Indian rhinoceros. The state flower is same as Arunachal Pradesh, Rhinchostylis retusa. Famous tourist places in Assam are Kazranga National Park, which is famous for the great Indian one horned rhinoceros. The landscape of Kazranga is of sheet forest, tall elephant grasses, rugged reeds, marshes, and shallow pools. It has been declared as a national park in 1974. Majuli Majuli is famous for sightseeing. Majuli is a river island in the Brahmaputra River. It became the first island to be made a district in India. Gauhati It is the largest city in the Indian state of Assam. It's, it is known for the holy sites like Hilltop Kamika Temple featuring shrines of the Hindu deities Lord Shiva and Vishnu. Average temperature in Assam During daytime, it ranges up to 27 degrees Celsius. In nighttime, it ranges up to 19 degrees Celsius. Humidity is 76%. Mountain surrounding Assam is Namcha Barwa. The height is 24,900 feet. National parks found in Assam are Kaziranga, Manas, Aurang, Tibru Saikova, and Nameri National Parks. Manipur Manipur is also known as the Jewel Land because it is surrounded by nine beautiful hills with an oval shaped valley at the center looking like a naturally made jewel. The capital is Simpal. The area of Manipur is 22,327 square kilometers. It is bordered by Nagaland to its north, Mizoram to its south, Assam in the west and Myanmar in the east. The population is 2.72 million. It has 16 districts. It is famous for its beautiful Ras Leela dance. The state bird of Manipur is Mrs. Hume's pheasant. The state animal is Sangai. It is a type of a deer which is only found in Manipur. The state flower is Shiru Lili. Famous tourist places in Manipur are Kongjam. It remembers the brave legends. 
The Anglo-Manipur War took place in Kongjim, Temenglong. It is the land of Hornbill. This town is inhabited by the people of Zilliangrong community. Zioko Valley. It is nature friendly and it is named after Zioko Lily. Average temperature in Manipur. During summer, it's 32 degrees Celsius. Winter, it ranges from 4 to 25 degrees Celsius. In monsoon, it ranges from 23 to 30 degrees Celsius. Mount Tempo, which is found in Manipur, is 9,823 feet. Impal and Sirohi are national parks found in Manipur. Meghalaya. It is nestled up in the remotest regions of India, the northeast. It literally means abode of clouds. Its capital is Shillong and has an area of 22,429 square kilometer and a population of 3.4 million. It can feel like traveling in a foreign land even for an Indian traveler. Some of the villages in Meghalaya boast of forests as old as 800 years or more. This has helped foster the equilibrium of the state while cultivating a sense of respecting the nature ahead of human development. It receives ample rainfall and is the wettest region of India. It is bordered by Assam in the north and Bangladesh in the south. Meghalaya state bird is Hilmina, state animal is clouded leopard, and the state flower is Paphio pedilum insigni. The three famous tourist places in Meghalaya. First one, the No Kalikai waterfalls. It is 1,115 feet tall. It is located at East Kashi Hills. It is the tallest plunge waterfall in India. Second one, the Double Decker Leaving Root Bridge. It is 3 km long and stands at a height of 2,400. The tree root bridges of Cherapunji are made up of roots of leaving trees that resemble a suspension bridge. Third one, the Elephant Falls. It is 12 km away from Shillong. It is a three-tiered waterfall and is situated in the middle of a refreshing lush green forest. It is one of the natural wonders of the Northeast India. The average temperature in Meghalaya during summer is 15 to 25 degrees Celsius, in winter 4 to 16 degrees Celsius and during monsoon it is 24 to 33 degrees Celsius. The mountain surrounding Meghalaya is the Shillong Peak which is a height of 6447. The national parks found in Meghalaya are Bal Pakaram, Nokret and Siju which is a bad cave. Mizoram Mizoram has a capital as Aizol and an area of 21,081 square kilometer and a population of 1.2 million. The name is derived from Mizo, the name of the native inhabitants and Ram which means land. Thus Mizoram is the land of Mizos. Mizoram is known for its pristine hills and caves. The state stands second in terms of literacy after Kerala. It is famous for its evergreen hills and dense bamboo jungles. The state bird of Mizoram is Mrs. Humes Fiasen, state animal Sumatran Cero, and the state flower is Renanthera in Scutiana. The three famous tourist places in Mizoram are, first one is the Azor, which is also the capital city of Mizoram. It lies of 1,132 meters above sea level. It is a quaint city. Its surrounding areas are lush with rolling hills and abundant greenery. Second is the Tamdil, the largest lake in the state of Mizoram. Tamdil Lake, which translates into Lake of Mustard in Mizo, is a beautiful lake with a magnificent landscape clear blue water and a serene environment. Third is the Fangapui National Park. It is a gorgeous conservatory forest in Mizoram, housing several layered animals and birds adorned in tropical forest. The average temperature in Mizoram during summer is 16 to 27 degrees Celsius, in winter 10 to 21 degrees Celsius and during monsoon it is 16 to 27 degrees Celsius. The mountain surrounding Mizoram is the Fang Bay, which is of a height 7,103 and the national parks found in Mizoram are Dampa and Murlen. 
Nagaland. Nagaland is a poetic folklore that has traveled beyond centuries. It is also known as Falcon capital of India. Its capital is Kohima and has an area of 16,579 square kilometer and a population of 2.2 million. Almost a million Amur falcons roost in Nagaland. It is approximately equal to 50 falcons per square kilometer. Northern Nagaland is rustic, stunning and rough part of the state. Here most of the inhabitants continue to live a hunting and farming lifestyle. It is famous as land of festivals and for their cultural diversity. The state bird found in Nagaland is Blitz tragopan. State animal is Gael and the state flower is Rhododendron arboreum. The two famous tourist places found in Nagaland are First one is the Kohima which is also the capital of Nagaland. It is an indelible landmark for the state. Kohima offers an insight into the life of the Angami tribe who predominate this region. Second is the Tuan Sang. It boasts of a colorful tradition of the Nagas and it offers an insightful tour in culture, heritage and lifestyle of the locals. A place of primeval beauty, Tuan Sang enchants visitors with fascinating flora, fauna and hilly valleys. The average temperature in Nagaland during summer is 16 to 31 degrees Celsius. During winter it is 4 to 24 degrees Celsius and during monsoon it is 21 to 40 degrees Celsius. The mountain surrounding Nagaland is a Mount Sarmadi which is of a height 12,602. The national park found in Nagaland are Fakim Wildlife Sanctuary and Ranga Pahar. Tripura. Tripura is a hilly state in northeast India bordered on three sides by Bangladesh. It is also known as Hill Tipera. Its capital is Agartala and has an area of 10,492 square kilometer and a population of 4 million. Despite being among the smallest states of India, this place is full of the mystic charms of the hills, the tales of hinterlands, hunters and quintessential Indianers. Rice is the major crop of Tripura and accounts for 91% of the land under cultivation. It is famous for its handicraft, particularly hand-woven cotton fabric, wood carvings and bamboo products. The state bird of Tripura is Green Imperial Pigeon, state animal is Phyrus Leaf Monkey and the state flower is Mesua Feria. The famous tourist places found in Tripura are First one is the Devatamura. It has intricate carvings. The largest is of Ma Durga, a 20 feet high carved at 90 degrees deep. Second is the Jampuyi Hills. It is a nature friendly place. It is famous for its charming landscape and bracing climate. It is a part of the Mizo Hills. Third is the Heritage Park. It is built by the government of Tripura in the heart of the capital city. It harmonically mixes the art and culture of both tribal and non-tribal section of Tripura history to present a unique state of art structure. The average temperature in Tripura during summer is 33 degrees Celsius, during winter 9.8 to 25.7 degrees Celsius and during monsoon 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. The mountain surrounding Tripura is the Mount Betling Chip, which is of a height 3015. The national parks found in Tripura are Clouded Leopard Sanctuary and the Bisan Sanctuary. Sikkim is also known as Traveler's Paradise. It is the second smallest state and the least populous state with 7096 square kilometer area and a population of 690,000. Its capital is Gangtok and it has only four districts. The highest peak, the Kanchanjunga in the country, is located here. It is the third highest peak in the world. The temperature is found to be very low in all seasons. It is famous for its flora and fauna and many tourist attractions. The state animal found in Sikkim is Red Panda. The state flower is Dendrobium nobile. The state bird is Blood Pheasant. The Songmo Lake or Changku Lake is a glacial lake. It remains frozen during winter. Then the Natula Pass connects Sikkim with China, which lies in the 
eastern side of Sikkim. Kanchanjunga is famous for its trekking and base camp. The average temperature in summer is 18 to 28 degrees Celsius and in winter 4 to 10 degrees Celsius and in monsoon 17 to 22 degrees the Celsius. The national parks found in Sikkim are Kanchanjunga, Kittam and Fanbonglo. The Kanchanjunga National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary covers 35% land of Sikkim. A quick overview of Northeast India Rainfall Pattern Northeast India receives most of its rainfall from southwest monsoon. Cherrapunji, the wettest place on earth, lies here. The marshy thick forest cover contributes to the amount of rainfall received by all states there. June is the month which receives highest amount of rainfall. River system Apart from Brahmaputra, Northeast India has Barak river system. Both these river systems join together and drain into the rivers of Bangladesh. Barak river system originates from Manipur and it is 900 km long. Floodplains of both these rivers comprises of numerous swamps. Nearly 3500 wetlands are present there. These give rise to more flora and fauna. But these areas are also prone to high rate of erosion, hence resulting in land degradation and also making it risky for inhabitants to stay there. Climate It has a humid subtropical climate. Tourists are attracted for the better climate that prevail here. Himalayas that lie in the north side of northeast India and Mehalaya Plateau that lies to the south of northeast India influences the climate. These are the major reliefs that influence the climate. And Northeast India also has number of national parks. It has over 28 national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. These are successful in conserving nature and preserving ecosystem. Apart from mineral resources like uranium, it is also harnessing renewable energy resources like solar and pattern. wind. Since agriculture is a main occupation performed in Northeast India, the net zone area found in Northeast India is high. Moreover, people follow shifting cultivation for crops which they consume for themselves. Shifting cultivation cannot produce commercial crops. It is a slash and burn agriculture. Variety of soils are found in Northeast India from loamy to clayey. Due to its differing vegetational cover and differing swamps and marshes. Interesting facts about Northeast India. Here, still people use root bridges to cross valleys due to poor infrastructural development. Difficult terrains lead to poor road conditions. As a result, there is a low level of transportational facilities available here. Above all, except Assam, all states of Northeast India is covered with 50 to 80 percent of forest land. Thank you. In our presentation, we are going to examine the eight states of Northeast India from a sociological perspective. These eight states compose the former seven sisters plus Sikkim. So the eight states we will be taking about are Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, 
மணிப்பூர் மேகாலயா மிசோராம் நாகாலாந்து சிக்கிம் திரிபுரா த நார்த் ஈஸ்ட் இஸ் நோன் ஃபார் இட்ஸ் டீப் அண்ட் ரிச் கல்ச்சர் திஸ் ரீஜன் இஸ் என்ட்ரென்ச்ட் இன் இட்ஸ் ஓன் நார்ம்ஸ் கஸ்டம்ஸ் வேல்யூஸ் அண்ட் பிலீவ்ஸ் அருணாச்சல் பிரதேஷ் Arunachal Pradesh is a place brimming with tremendous anthropological richness home to several indigenous groups of people it can be broadly categorized into three cultural groups the first one comprises the mon past and the shedukens of the twang and west kamen districts they are staunch followers of the lamist lamistic tradition of ma Mahayana Buddhism and Tibetan Buddhism. The second group is a mixture of a variety of sub-tribes, but they are categorized as one since they all worship sun and moon gods. The sub-tribes are Adis, Akas, Apatanis, Banglis, Mijis, Mishmis, Nishis, Tongsis. The last tribe comprises of Tis and the Wancho tribal community of the Tirap district. followers of vaishnavism they are ruled by a herid- hereditary chief and follow strict societal rules the festivals of arunachal pradesh are really unique and capture the diversity of culture in the state the siang river festival is a good example of its uniqueness considering it is a festival celebrated to promote eco tourism Events mainly revolve around tourist adventure fun like elephant racing traditional boat racing didi the mock war game of mish mish and others apart from this an exhibition of handloom and handicraft is also held festivals that show off the state's culture and ethnicity are the pangsua pass winter festival and the zero festival of music the pangsua pass winter festival one of the extravagant ethnicity and song and dance is celebrated by holding handicraft and handloom exhibitions along with displays of arunachal pradesh and myanmar's tri- tribal cultures this festival gives them a bonding op- opportunity the zero festival of music is the biggest musical festival of the state for which people from all over the north east region gather International and domestic musical performances are enjoyed throughout this four day period. Another important festival of the state is the agricultural festival of Solang. It is a 10 day celebration especially celebrated in the Adi community in the west and the east Siang district. Upper and lower Dibang value district and upper Siang. The date for the festival is different each year and is decided by kebang or the village council keeping the convenience of the villagers in mind and once the date is fixed the preparation of the local beer upon starts assam is probably the most popular state of the northeast its population is a broad interracial mixture of mongolian indo-burmese Indo-Iranian and Aryan origin and the native language is Assamia. The largest tribe is the Kachari group consisting of 18 subtribes. The main subtribes include Bodo Kachari, Diori, Mesing. The Bodo's basic occupation is agriculture and they still use traditional methods and tools for their profession. They are mostly Hindus although a minority follows Christianity. The Diori are unusual in the sense of maintaining their tribal identity by keeping themselves free from intermixture and intermarriage with other Bodo tribes. A unique tradition they follow is that the entire extended family lives under one roof until sometimes more than 100 people live in the same house. The Mishing referred to as the Miris are the second largest ethnic group in Assam. The Assamese people celebrate all pan-Indian religious festivals but their most important celebrations are the three Bihu festivals. Originally agricultural festivals they are observed with great enthusiasm regardless of caste, creed and religious affinity. The Bohag Bihu celebrated in spring marks the beginning of the new year. 
Also known as Rangoli Bihu, it is celebrated by dancing and music. Known as Bogali Bihu, it is a festival of communal faiths and bonfires. Kati Bihu is the third of this trinity. By this time of the year, the house of an ordinary family is without food grain since the stock is consumed before the next harvest. Manipur. The culture of Manipur is as exotic and ancient as the state itself. A mixture of rich customs, traditional cuisine, cultural music, strict vibrant customs, world famous dance forms and rich history is what makes the essence of Manipur's culture. Although these factors together contribute to the culture, there are many different tribes that have their own customs and traditions and are very different from each other. The Maitis and Tangos are the principal tribes that reside in the hilly region. The Maitis are one of the most eminent ethnic groups hailing from Manipur Valley who are an industrial lot. Other than these two, the other noteworthy tribes are the Cookies, the Annals and the Mongsurks. All the tribes follow egalitarian social practices. The Ras Leela is the epitome of this. The Ras Leela is a form of Manipur's classical folk dance interwoven through Radha's celestial and eternal love for Krishna as described in the Hindu scriptures. Another way of looking at Manipur's rich culture is by observing the festival festivities. Gang Magai is a festival of utmost importance to the Kabai Nagas, a celebration that signifies good omens. It is celebrated via common feasts, festival, dancing of all age groups and flower gifts. Blowing Night May is a seed sowing festival which marks the beginning of cultivation for the people. The annual festival plays an important role in boosting people's morale and strengthening the bond of Naga's solidarity through social gatherings, music and dance. Shairoba is a Manipur New Year. During this festival, people clean and decorate their houses and prepare festive food and offerings to the various de deities. The most interesting event of this festival is the villagers climbing nearest hilltops believing it will enable them to rise to, to get greater heights in their worldly lives. Haikru Hiptomba is boat race. Long narrow boats are used to accommodate a large number of rowers. An idol of Lord Vishnu is installed before the commencement of the race. Chumpa is a festival of the Tangkul Nagas. Celebrated for seven days, it is held after harvest. The last three days are devoted to social gatherings and rejoicing. Meghalaya is the only matrilineal society in Northeast India. Property of the mother is passed on to the youngest daughter, while small portions of it are given to the oldest daughters. Although a matrilineal society, it is not matriarchal. Women hold power and command respect in the household, but are only consulted by the men of the household in decision making. The chief is also a man, though on his retirement or death, the post is passed on to his eldest sister's firstborn son. Meghalayan people can be classified into three main groups, namely the Garos, Khasis, and Jaintias. All these three tribes, as mentioned above, are matrilineal. The Garos, or Achik Mande, as they call themselves, are people who mainly inhabit the Garo hills. Although originally nature worshippers, most Garos have now adopted Christianity. Childbirth is celebrated by the whole clan, not just the family. The Khasis, along with the Nars, or together known as the Khasi Nars and mainly reside in the Khasi Hills, located in the Chaintia Hills. These people cannot be pinned down to majorly follow just one religion. They follow religious practices of Anglican, Roman Catholic, Presbyterian, along with indigenous Khasi practices. The Chaintias, also called the Nars or Sintengs, mainly inhabit the Chaintia Hills. This tribe is an expert in the indigenous arts and crafts of Meghalaya. Other than these tribes, the major other tribes include Bar, Bhoi and Lingams. The easiest way of learning about Meghalayan culture and traditions is simply done by observing their festivals. The major festivals and events are Wangala, Shad Nongkrem, Shad Suk Minsem and Beh Din Klam.
Wangala or the 100 Drums Festival is a festival that celebrates the sun god of fertility. It is a harvest festival where people pay homage to the sun god. It lasts for 2 to 7 days. Shad Nongkrem is a festival that was originally celebrated in May but moved to November. Unmarried women decked in traditional Meghalayan jewelry accompanied by men give dance performances. Goats are sacrificed in honor of the people's ancestors. Shatsuk means sem roughly translated means the dance of joyful heart a festival of dance and fertility it is mainly characterized by dance with its accompaniment of tangmuri behtein klam is celebrated in hopes of pleasing their deity for good harvest in this festival women are barred from taking part in the holy dance and are instead busy with preparing the ceremonial food games like tug of war and a replica of soccer are played Mizoram is a storehouse of natural beauty with its endless variety of landscape, hilly terrains, meandering streams and deep gorges, renowned for its hospitality. Mizos are a close-knit society with no class distinction or discrimination on the basis of sex. Mizos are part of the great wave Mongolian race in the eastern and southern part of India centuries ago. They came under the influence of the British missionaries in the 9th century and now most of the Mizos are Christians. The Mizo population is made up of several tribes. It comprises five major tribes and 11 minor tribes under the common name of Auzia. The major tribes are Lushe, Rolte, Mar, Taite, Powi. All of the Mizo's activities and festivals revolve around jhum cultivation, which is basically slash and burn agriculture. Mim cut is celebrated in the wake of harvesting of the maize crop. It is celebrated by music, dancing and consuming homemade rice beer. It is a festival dedicated to dead relatives. Pol cut is also a Thanksgiving festival like Mim cut. Mothers sit on memorial platforms with their children and feed each other. The two-day festival is followed by complete rest where no one goes out to work. Chapchar cut is the most popular festival of the Mizos. It is often known as the Mizo festival of joy. A spring festival, it is celebrated with grandiosity. Food and liquor is abundant along with music and dancing. The people of Nagaland are collectively known as the Nagas although there are a number of tribes and subtribes within the Naga population. The prominent tribes of the Naga people include 16 groups a few of which are Angami, Ao, Chakesang, Santan, Yimchangar and Zilang. Collectively the Nagas are known to comprise 66 tribes. Most Nagaland population follow Christianity. This was due to the British rulers and later Christian missionaries. Prior to their conversion to Christianity, the Nagas believed in ancestral worship. Apart from the Nagas, the other inhabitants of Nagaland are followers of Hinduism and Buddhism. The Naga people are of Indo-Mongoloid origin. Their major activities are farming and weaving. The Nagas hold high value to customs and knowledge passed down from prior generations. Originally, the Nagas were known for their barbaric and warrior background. However, due to their vast number of tribes and subtribes, customs, norms, beliefs and events and festivals vary radically. Armed raids to nearby villages and head hunting, a ritual where warring tribes decapitated their enemies, used to be quite a common occurrence. As previously mentioned, customs in Nagaland vary depending on the tribe. This can be easily seen in the customs and beliefs that accompany marriage. In the Angami tribe, a fowl is strangled and the posture of the fowl's carcass decides the compatibility of the couple. The monks in tribe sends the couple on a trading expedition and the profits of the business decides the future of the couple. Some communities allow polygyny and prenuptial relations while others consider it taboo. In some communities men pay a dowry for their brides this shows the diversity of the tribes and also their high regard for tradition exogamy is the only social taboo every tribe agrees on but even in this the konyak chiefs consider women of the same clan sacred 
The different tribes and their customs are what enrich Nagaland. Another feature that does the same are festivals. Nagaland is a land of many festivals, most of which revolve around agriculture since that is the main occupation. The Hornbill Festival is one organized by the state government to promote interaction among the different tribes and preserve their heritage. Events during this festival include sports like wrestling in archery and other contests, arts and crafts displays and music concerts that that takes place within the span of 10 days. Other important festivals include Sukhranye, Yemshe, Sekhranayi, Moatsu, Mong and Bashu. Sikkim is a unique blend of different customs, religions and traditions of different communities. Since ancient times, Sikkim was occupied by three tribes, namely Lepchas, Bhatias, Nepalis. The Nepalis dominate a considerable portion of Sikkim's population. Although dominant, it was the Lepchas who existed much before the Bhatias and Nepalis migrated to the state. The earliest Lepcha settlers were believers in the bone faith, which is based on spirits. The Lepcha folklore is also rich with their stories. The Bhatias are originally Tibetan. Sikkim is like a beautiful cultural bouquet that is adorned with attractive folk dances, traditions, and customs of different castes and tribes. The ceremonial mass dance performance is a must watch. It is performed by monks with superfluous zeal and energy. The sparkling jewelry and swords add to the authenticity of the performance while they dance to the resounding drums and trumpeting of horns. The people of Sikkim are nature worshippers. The Phang Lapsol festival is one of the festivals celebrated by the locals when they offer gratitude to Mount Kangchenjunga. Another festival called the Dacian festival is celebrated in the state. It symbolizes the victory of good over evil. There is also a solemn kagya dance performance every year. The people of Tripura are mostly known as Tripuris and are mostly tribes, mainly of Tibeto Burmese origin. They have a very interesting history. The native inhabitants of the state are known as Tipras. Apart from these, there are 19 scheduled tribes out of the majority are Begali. A few noteworthy tribes are Bhutia, Chaima, Chakma, Bil. Bills are one of the oldest tribes in India. They are a cross-section of the great Munda race and a wild tribe of India. All of their family and communal ceremonies are accompanied by a whole night of drinking and dancing. The Chaimals or Saimals, as they call themselves, are of Koikasod Mongolia origin. They are Hindus and follow all rites and rituals as per Hindu customs. Like other tribes, they have separate forms of dance, and folk music. Though such performances are very occasional, Chakmas are a major tribe of the state in terms of population. Within themselves, they have three sub tribes. Though the rulers of the initial period were descendants of the Kshatriyas, they got very much influenced by the language, culture, and custom of Bengalis, wrestling in a breakaway group of the original Tripuris and formed a new community called the Natan Tripuris. Since Tripura is dominated by Bengalis, its culture is also mostly the same. The people of Tripura are noted for a rich cultural heritage with a blend of music, fine arts, performing arts and handicrafts. All important social gatherings like weddings and festivals are accompanied by music and dance of this tribal state. Tripura festivals are authentic and tribal in nature. Gariya Puja is one of the most celebrated festivals by the indigenous people of the state of Tripura. A banner pole symbolizes Lord Gariya, also known as the deity of livestock and wealth. Karchin Vela was started by the kings to worship 14 gods and goddesses. The week-long festival is one of the oldest and largest festivals celebrated in the state. Political Conditions of Seven Sister States Meghalaya. The Meghalaya Legislative Assembly has 60 members at present. It has two representatives in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha, each one from Shillong and Tura. Since the creation of the state, the Gauhati High Court had the jurisdiction in Meghalaya. 
Recently, in 2013, Meghalaya High Court was separated from the Guwahati High Court, and now the state has its own High Court. Some of the tribal communities in the region had their own traditional political system, and it was felt that Panchayati Raj institution may come into conflict with these traditional system. The sixth schedule was appended to the constitution on the recommendations of a subcommittee formed under the leadership of Gopinath Bodloy, and the constitution of autonomous district council is provided in certain rural areas of the northeast, including areas in Meghalaya. Three ADCs: Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council, Garo Hills Autonomous District Council, Jaingshia Hills Autonomous District Council. Recently, Meghalaya recorded the highest voter turnout in 20 years as 71.37 percent voted. In the matrilineal society of Meghalaya, the number of women women who had voted was more than that of a man, which is appreciable. Manipur The party that is currently ruling in Manipur is BJP and the chief minister is Birain Singh the opposition party is Indian National Congress The candidate is Okram Singh and the governor of Manipur is Najma Heptulla It's a unicameral legislature Manipur has 16 administrative districts There are two Lok Sabha constituencies and Manipur Legislative Assembly has 60 seats Mizoram Politics in Mizoram is dominated by two political fronts the Mizo National Front and the Mizoram Pradesh Congress Committee part of Indian National Congress the chief minister of Mizoram is Zoram Thanga and the governor is Shridharan Pillai the superintendent of police is responsible for the police administration of each district Mizoram is divided into 11 districts it has one parliamentary seat only Nagaland the governor is the constitutional head of the state he possesses large responsibilities apart from law and order responsibilities nagaland has been granted a great degree of state autonomy like other indian states as well as special powers and autonomy for naga tribes to conduct their own affairs The conditions of Nagas outside of the Nagaland state is quite pitiful. The Nagas in Assam, Manipur, Myanmar continue to face all types of oppression and discrimination. Many of educated Nagas feel that Nagaland is safe because it is protected with a special provision which is Article 371A of Indian Constitution. Nagaland has totally 12 districts. When created in 1963, the state of Nagaland was divided into just three districts. By a process of subdivision, that number increased to seven and to eleven by 2004, and recently, Noklak district was added in 2017. The Democratic Alliance of Nagaland is a regional political party with BJP, Janata Dal, with Naga People's Front was in power till 2018. The Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party BJP alliance led PDA government has won and is in power now. In the recent election an overall of 83.1% voter turnout was recorded in Nagaland. The turnout in this election was 5.1% lesser compared to the last election which is slightly depressing. Tripura the party that is currently ruling in Tripura is BJP and the chief minister is Biplap Kumar Deb the opposition party is CPIM and the candidate is Manik Saka the governor of Tripura is Ramesh Bais Tripura has unique tribal governance only Tripura has been divided into 8 districts Tripura sends two representatives to the Lok Sabha and one representative to the Rajya Sabha the state has 60 assembly constituencies